Yo, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. So I've been making a lot of UIs lately and one of the things that takes the look and feel of an app to the next level is the choice of icons. Now Flutter has already default icons that you can use and it's quite a large collection so for all intents and purposes you can use these default icons to just get the job done. But if you're anything like me, the aesthetics of an app and looking sleek is really important to me. So I'm going to show you how I go about using custom icons in my apps. Now just to quickly illustrate how you would use the default icons, I've just got here a blank scaffold. Once you start typing icons, you can see the bunch of options that we can use. And so inside the icon, you can obviously specify the size as well as the colors. So without doing anything extra, if you're just looking for some default icons to use just to get the job done, then this is how you would go about it. But as I said, these default icons, they kind of look, I don't know, kind of look old. They don't look too modern. So if you want to get some nice custom icons, there's a bunch of ways to go about this. But one way which I like to do is to go on Google and just search for flat icons. And if you go to this website, it has a really big collection of icons that look really nice. So for example, if I just search chat, you can see from the community, there's all these different chat bubbles that we can use. So this is where I usually choose from. Like if I search, say home, then I get a lot of different icons just for home. And so if I just pick one, let's say I, I like this home icon, I'm going to download it as a PNG. So just as a image, and you can see they have a premium subscription to get a lot of other bonuses, um, but you can also just do a free download as long as you attribute the person that made the icon. So you can take a look at all this in more detail in your own time. But just to illustrate how you would implement this into your Flutter project, if you just download it, I've got this house.png file, go to our Flutter project and in the library, I'm just going to create a new folder called icons. Okay, and let's drag this house.png file into the icons. Cool, so now let's come back to our Flutter project and go to your PubSpec YAML and we're going to have to tell it that we're importing some images in. So come down to the assets and let's just uncomment this and we want to go to the files. So library slash icons and just end it with a slash. So this will just import that whole folder. Save it. And now under the default icon, let's just create a container and get this image. And it's currently located in library icons and it's called house.png. Cool. Now, if you just save this, it's just going to fill up the space that it has. So you can specify this height, let's say like 40 to control how big you want this image to be. And inside the image, of course, you can change the color of the image. So there's that. And one thing I like to do is the container surrounding it. You can give it a little, uh, a little round box. And so from here, a lot of decoration you can do just depending on the design of your app. But yeah, there's also a lot of packages for icons that you can bring into your pubspec.yaml file. But I think it's actually better to download the icon as an image and just bring it in that way. Because then I'm not constrained to just a single icon package. I can just get whatever image I want. So I find bringing in icons like this to be the best way. And sometime in the future, I might make my own icon pack like Coco icon pack, just to have my own designs because it's just fun coming up with this stuff. Also, if you're interested, follow me on TikTok because I'm posting there every day where I create a UI from scratch. So check me out there if you like. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters.